Hi, welcome to episode four, the final episode of this mini series, Spinal Misalignments. I'm Dr. Gill with First Place Chiropractic, and in this final episode, episode four, we will be talking about how to maintain that NUCA correction, that upper cervical specific chiropractic correction. So once you get that atlas back into alignment, believe me, you're going to want to keep it there. And here are some tips that you can do to help keep your alignment there. So if you've gotten your very first adjustment, I'm sure that your doctors told you that you want that tissue to heal. You want to give your body time to heal that tissue. Right when you get your first adjustment, your body enters this intense healing phase. You want to give the body time to heal. You don't want to try to strengthen it when it's trying to heal. Kind of like if you've sprained your ankle and when you were running or whatever it may be, you want that ankle to heal fully before you go for a run again. If you let it heal maybe one or two days and the pain is kind of gone and you start running on it again, you can imagine that that ankle is going to start hurting again because that tissue didn't have enough time to heal. Similar to that, as you're adjusted, that tissue is healing around that new alignment. You want to give your body time to allow that healing process. Once your body has done some healing and your body has started to stabilize, then here are some tips that you can do to maintain that spinal correction. The first is going to be an exercise. It's called cervical retraction. The focus of this exercise is to strengthen the muscles of your neck and help improve posture. When you're standing upright and that posture is improved, it's just going to help you hold on to that alignment. So this is how you do this exercise. So when you're turning to the side, you want to focus on trying to get your ear over your shoulder. So you're going to be pulling your head back. Pretend as there is a string behind your head and someone is pulling your head back. Almost like creating this double chin with your chin. Now as you're pulling your head back, you should feel a tightening of the muscles in the back of your neck. Now you want to pull back and hold for about 10 seconds and then relax. Do this a couple times in the morning when you brush your teeth, make it a habit. As those muscles get stronger, they're going to help hold you in that good posture. So that is that first tip there to help hold spinal alignment. Now the second one is going to be more of a suggestion, more of a reminder maybe I should say, is avoid traumatic things. So if you are go going to be <laughs> snowboarding or skateboarding or uh, doing things that are going to cause trauma to the body, that is going to make it hard for you to hold your alignment. So do your best that you can, especially in that initial healing phase, to try to avoid things that could cause trauma to the body, like snowboarding down a mountain where you could experience multiple falls, stuff like that, especially right in the beginning of care. Now, hold up. I know you're thinking, hmm, is she saying that I can never snowboard again? No, 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 no. What I'm trying to say is when the body is entering that healing phase, it needs time to heal. Allow the body to heal and stabilize, and then when your body is nice and strong, snowboarding at that point is going to be better for your body than in that initial stages of healing. So I hope these two tips were helpful. This will end my mini-series of spinal misalignment. I can say so much more about this, but this, again, was just a mini-series to talk a little bit about the alignment. I hope it was helpful. Comment below. Send it to someone that needs to hear this information. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You can't miss us. Call us in the office if you can't find us. 630-584-5200. This is Dr. Gill with First Place Chiropractic. Thank you for watching.